Good morning YouTube. Uh, this is just a short video um, for my personal review and experience of uh, a stock windscreen conversion to uh, the Z-Technique V-Stream. Um, not seen too many videos or, or, or forum comments with regard to aftermarket screen options for this particular bike, which is an OR1200 RS. Um, I know it's not probably the biggest selling bike in BMW's catalogue um, and maybe, maybe the net effect is uh, it doesn't get quite as much attention uh, for, for aftermarket. Um, I've owned this bike now for just over a year. I was coming from a BMW GS adventure um, where there was tons of weather protection. Um, I really love this bike. I think she handles brilliantly. She's an absolute scream to ride. Um, half sports bike half tourer um, with the with the boxer engine which personally I, I, I quite like uh, well I don't quite like I love it um, so experience over the last year with the stock screen uh, has been um, good but just a little bit too much uh, noise particularly on motorway speeds and um, and also just you know the swash around overtaking vehicles and on the motorway as well I, I just it just it just became quite distracting um, so for me the bike needs a needs a taller screen and certainly for someone my height um, I'm just a smidge under six foot so I looked at a few of the reviews online um, there's not too many uh, Grumpy Goat I think has quite a good one for the MRA I chose this one um, based on a couple of reviews I found elsewhere, more, more on forums, uh, wasn't really a video for this one which is why I, I, I felt maybe it might be helpful for others to, to post something. Um, <clears throat> really simple to fit, uh, it's just four bolts, so it took me about 20 minutes, uh, bolt here, one lower one, bolt here, bolt here. Uh, I tried it, this, this two bolts in sequence, top and bottom, on each side. Uh, I tried it with the lower bolt, where the screen was sitting maybe an inch lower than it is here. Um, and actually for my height, um, I found that the upper, upper bolt was best. Um, riding on just A, B roads here, um, again, you know, I find that, that, that the lower position for the screen is, is, is perfect. Um, uh, you can then, while riding, just simply pull it up, uh, and then you get the, all the additional wind protection uh, of the of the taller position. Um, so far, three weeks into having fitted this, and it's just had a clean to get the bugs off it, um, which is why I'm posting this now. Uh, I think it's fantastic. Um, the just pootling around town and generally going around the country roads, the lower position is is is, is fantastic. Um, super comfortable and then when you flip to the motorway uh, just just simply raise the screen and uh, and <clears throat> honestly you could be on a BMW GS it's so comfortable um, I appreciate that there will be comments maybe and you can keep them to yourself because on the looks of the bike and the profile that this screen um, <laughs> what it looks like I, I'm, I'm, I, I like the bike, I like the look of it, but if I'm not enjoying riding it, what's the point? So I don't think it looks too bad. Um, and actually, uh, a couple of people who, uh, <clears throat> who ride bikes with me and work, um, they've come in just in passing, have said actually they think it's, uh, it looks like a proper sports tour now, and the screen uh, isn't, isn't, isn't too bad. But again, personal, personal preference will, will play a role in that. So uh, it's a short review. Um, I, I maybe you know I'm not accustomed to posting on YouTube, but if 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 maybe in six months or so I'm inclined to do so, maybe I'll, I'll give you guys another maybe end of summer, end of autumn review. Um, you're welcome to ask me any questions, um, uh, but uh, I again I'm not a professional, so I, I I probably will will give you my experience versus a solid answer. So there you go. Thanks for listening. Um, any questions, drop them in the box below um, and I'll do my best to answer. Take care. Bye-bye.